Hey everyone, and welcome to, Gumleaf Farm, or should I say, Welcome to Asparagus Paradise. Today, we're going on an adventure. A behind-the-scenes tour of how one of spring's most beloved vegetables makes its way from the field to your table. We're here bright and early, just as the sun is starting to paint the sky with these gorgeous colors. And there's something truly special about being in an asparagus field at this hour. It's peaceful, it's beautiful, and you can almost feel the energy of these plants waking up for the day. We'll be spending the next few minutes exploring every step of the asparagus harvesting process. From the careful preparation of the soil, to the precise art of cutting the spears, to the final packaging and shipping, we're going to see it all. So, whether you're a die-hard asparagus fan or you're just curious about where your food comes from, get ready to be amazed. Let's get started. Now, most of us are familiar with asparagus as that delicious, slightly grassy tasting vegetable that shows up on our plates in the spring. But there's actually a lot more to asparagus than meets the eye. First of all, did you know that asparagus is considered a superfood? It's packed with vitamins and minerals, like vitamin K which is important for bone health, vitamin C which helps boost your immune system, and folate, which is essential for cell growth and development. It's also a great source of fiber, which is important for digestion. And it's not just about the green spears, either. There's a whole world of asparagus varieties out there. We've got the classic green asparagus, which is what most of us are used to seeing. It's got that crisp texture and that slightly earthy flavor that we all love. Then there's white asparagus, which is a real delicacy in many parts of the world. It's grown completely underground, so it never develops any chlorophyll which is what gives plants their green color. This makes it incredibly tender and gives it a milder, sweeter flavor. And finally, there's purple asparagus, which is not only beautiful to look at but also packed with extra antioxidants. Those purple pigments are called anthocyanins, and they're known for their health-promoting properties. No matter which type you prefer, asparagus is incredibly versatile in the kitchen. You can steam it, grill it, roast it, stir-fry it, or even eat it raw in salads. It's a perfect side dish, a great addition to soups and stews, and it even makes a delicious appetizer. It's a nutritional powerhouse and a culinary star and it is grown right here. So, how does all this asparagus magic happen? Well, it starts long before the harvest season. Growing asparagus is a year-round commitment, and it all begins with the soil. Asparagus thrives in well-drained, sandy soil that's rich in organic matter. The farmers here work hard to prepare the beds, tilling the soil, adding compost and other amendments to create the perfect growing environment. Water is also crucial. Asparagus needs consistent moisture, especially during the growing season. Many farms use sophisticated irrigation systems, like drip lines or overhead sprinklers, to ensure that the plants get just the right amount of water. And it's not just about adding water and nutrients. The farmers also regularly monitor the soil's pH level and test for any deficiencies. They're like scientists, constantly analyzing and adjusting to create the optimal conditions for these plants. Alright, it's time for the main event, the asparagus harvest. This is when all that preparation and hard work pays off. The harvest season typically begins in the spring, and it can last for several weeks. The farmers head out into the fields early in the morning, while it's still cool, and they start looking for those perfectly ripe spears. It's not as simple as just grabbing any spear that looks good. They're trained to look for specific signs, the height of the spear. 
usually around 6 to 10 inches, the thickness of the stock, and most importantly, the tightness of the tip. If the tip is starting to open up or burn out, it means the spear is past its prime. And here's the most crucial part, the cut. The farmer carefully inserts the specialized asparagus knife into the soil, right next to the spear, and with a quick, clean flick of the wrist, they sever the stock just below the surface. The goal is to get as much of that tender white base as possible, without damaging the crown of the plant, which is where the new spears will emerge. It's a delicate operation, and it requires skill and precision. These farmers are experts at what they do. They move quickly and efficiently, but they also handle the asparagus with care, making sure not to bruise or damage the delicate spears. On some larger farms, you might see specialized harvesting equipment, but even with machines, the basic principles are the same, select the right spears, cut them cleanly, and handle them gently. Once the asparagus has been harvested, it's time for the next step, sorting and packing. The spears are brought to a processing area, where they're carefully inspected and prepared for market. The first order of business is a good wash. The asparagus is rinsed with cool, clean water to remove any dirt or debris. This is important for both appearance and food safety. Next comes the sorting. The spears are graded according to size, thickness, and overall quality. This ensures that consumers get a consistent product, whether they're buying a small bunch or a large box. The workers here are incredibly fast and accurate. They can sort through hundreds, even thousands, of spears in a single day. Finally, the asparagus is ready to be packed. It might be bundled together with rubber bands, packed into plastic clamshells, or arranged in crates lined with ice. The packaging helps to protect the spears during transport and keep them fresh for as long as possible. From the packing house, the asparagus begins its journey to consumers. It might be loaded onto refrigerated trucks, shipped by air freight, or even taken directly to a local farmer's market. The key here is speed and temperature control. Asparagus is a perishable product, and it's important to get it to market quickly, while keeping it cool to maintain its quality. Whether it's a small roadside stand, a bustling farmer's market, or a large grocery store, Asparagus is always a popular item, especially during the spring season. People love its fresh flavor, its versatility, and its nutritional benefits. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, time to enjoy the delicious results of all this hard work. There are so many incredible ways to prepare asparagus. You can steam it, grill it, roast it, saute it, pickle it, or even shave it raw into salads. The slightly bitter, earthy flavor of asparagus pairs beautifully with all sorts of other ingredients. It's a perfect side dish for grilled meats or fish. It adds a wonderful crunch to salads. And it's even delicious on its own, with just a simple dressing of olive oil, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Whether you're a gourmet chef or a home cook, asparagus is a vegetable that's sure to impress. It's elegant, it's flavorful, and it's good for you. What more could you ask for? So, there you have it, the complete story of asparagus. From the field to your fork, we've seen the incredible amount of work and care that goes into growing this amazing vegetable. I hope this video has given you a new appreciation for asparagus, and inspired you to try some new and exciting ways to cook with it. And next time you see those beautiful green, or white, or purple, spears in the store, take a moment to think about the journey they've taken, and the people who helped bring them to you. Thanks for joining me on this asparagus adventure. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. And most importantly, don't forget to eat your vegetables. See you next time.